Welcome to another edition of Fitness Under 3 Minutes, sponsored of course by Smith Street Paleo. Andre, how's it going? Great, and you? Mate, we've gone really good. We've got a really cool topic this morning. I think something that people always are worrying about is on their mind, how to stay injury free. <laughs> always one of the big issues. Always one of the big issues. Mate, let's kick it off. We've got five points. You've got the first one. Tell us a little bit about that. Point number one is talking about correct form. Correct form is super important. It's basically correct form is equal to safe movements. Safe movements is what's going to make you stay injury free. I mean, mate, when you talk about correct form, give us a little bit of the start of it. How does it start to get someone to be in correct form? Because it's very good at saying correct form, correct form, correct form, do that yeah. properly. But where does it really start? It starts by having a coach that can watch you do it correctly <laughs> so that you have somebody who can show you how it's done properly. Yeah. yeah. I think that's one of the biggest things. People just don't know how it should look. Yeah. They just try to go alone and obviously often they'll need a coach to supervise them and guide them. I think that leads into our second point really is mastering the basics. So when you've got someone who can who can show you how to do it properly, you just drill that over and over and over. You're, you're really never too good to improve on like, like even... Like I've seen you a lot. Your squat's incredibly good. You move really well. But the amount of time that you sort of just go down and hold at the bottom of a squat or just do air squats is just yeah. over and over and over. So we really got to master them. Just constantly review the basics. You yeah. can never get too good at them. Yeah. Our uh, third point, <clears throat> that's more related to gymnastics where strict before kipping is, is essential just yeah. to strengthen that connective tissue yeah. and the muscle tissue. Often people add too much dynamic and momentum to all their movements before they can actually master I mean we've seen that in movements. CrossFit in really in pull-ups haven't we kipping yeah. pull-ups came through people just started ripping their shoulders <laughs> yeah. apart they have problems with sort of rotator cuff injuries exactly. are absolutely huge so yeah. just master those strict movements yeah. Mate, after that I think as well like it, it's a case of listening to your body isn't it as well it's you so know important. people are not like I've, I've had so many people come up and say oh my leg hurts should I continue like if you've been a little bit soft then yeah you should but you know if it's and that's that's what I always say. There's good pain and a bad pain. If you listen to your body and you're in bad pain, you need to stop for exactly. sure. Yeah. Uh, last but least, not least, um, add more pauses, tempos, um, single arm, single leg work just yeah. to expose those weaknesses to see if, for example, in a squad you're overcompensating by using your right leg too much yeah. or your left leg. And that actually goes back a little bit to having that coach watching you to guide you to... Sometimes you can do something that you don't feel you're actually doing. Like yeah, for sure. You're pushing too much with your right leg or you're not well balanced, basically. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think, mate, that it really, I think all of these points that, that we've come through is just sort of dialing things back, taking things a little bit slower. Yeah. And that's the best way that you're going to avoid injury. Yeah. That's it. Another show. Awesome. Fitness under three minutes. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah.